Rated T for team. What's up, guys? Nevin Dravinsky, producer on UFC Undisputed 2010, coming to you from the famed Black House Gym in Los Angeles, California. I'm joined today by Mark Lehman, one of the premier MMA coaches in the world, as well as your coach in the upcoming UFC 2010 career mode. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Pleasure. So Mark, obviously one of the most noticeable combat improvements that we did this year was the concept of uh, sways, where we're now able to duck and lean. Well, swaying allows you to uh, see your opponent's attack and then dip out of the way so you're not getting hit with it, and it also allows you to come back with a counterattack. And there's some great examples of this, like Anderson Silva used this masterfully against Forrest Griffin in UFC 101, oh, where he's certainly. able to... It was a clinic, right? It yeah, was, it, was, it was pretty insane. And you mentioned the, the, the fact of countering off of the sways, and that's one of the really important aspects of the system in the Undisputed game. Yeah, it really brings the octagon closer to the fan. Cage position is a really important aspect of mixed martial arts. It's huge, because basically you have a foreign object that's 90 degrees, that's part of what you're fighting on, and you have to learn how to deal with it. It can be used defensively and offensively. You can use it to pin your opponent up against a cage where they can't sprawl and they can get takedowns a lot easier. You can also use it to pin them in, in clinches where you can do striking, like Anderson Silva stuck Rich Franklin there and teed off him with the knees. And we really try to capture that in the game as well. Again, it's one of those things that makes the game more realistic. Mark, you know, one of the things that I'm most pleased with in terms of improvements that went into the 2010 product was the submission system. You know, last year, in 2009, we had this very sort of static state of animations where, you know, there'd be this initiation of a submission. The nothing kind of technical bull right. Basically what happened, I got to play the game, and it's awesome. You get to actually see the joint being manipulated, and the camera zooms in to let you know what's getting torqued, and then if the guy's defending, it kind of pulls out, and it just makes it a lot more visceral, and you can feel what's really going on with the submission. Now, other submissions that have gone in there, I mean, we just saw Paul Tiago finish off Mike Swick with the Darce. I mean, we have the Omoplata, the Gogo Plata. They're but... basically making stuff up. Totally, totally, totally. One other thing I noticed when I was playing the game is that you can transition from submissions. Like, what, what did you call that? Well, stuff? so we call that submission switching. Say you're going for a Kimura, for example. Performing a submission switch, uh, will allow them to say switch from the Kimura to then go for an armbar. I know you guys added some new back position.